Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today it's going to be a quick revisit video on the MSI Gaming Keyboard. So if you watched my previous video you will see that I proved the fault onto a little arm chip and I had to buy another keyboard to take the arm chip off to make that keyboard work. And it's working perfectly, my son is well happy with it. It is a very nice looking and feeling keyboard. But that meant I was left with another keyboard, I put the 40 chip on to this one, so it meant I was left with another keyboard that looked in really good condition but it had a 40 arm chip chip on the inside. Now it turns out these arm chips are blank and they have to be programmed in order to make them work. So I sort of thought to myself, well, it's game over, this keyboard is never going to work. That is until I started looking at the messages that came in, the comments on that video. And loads of comments, which I'm going to start flashing up on screen now, this isn't everybody, this is just a, a sample, uh, told me to check the firmware on it. I didn't even think to look at the firmware because it was a keyboard. If it was like a switch or a, a mobile phone, then I would have been like, oh yeah, firmware. I didn't think a keyboard would have updatable firmware, but it does. So I got my hopes up then, and then I went to the MSI website, and the only thing I was allowed to download from it was something called the Dragon Center, which is this one here. And then basically when I went onto this one here, I could uh, scan my device and it would come up with the keyboard. So basically the 40 keyboard was recognized. And when I would go to scan, I think it was coming up with, there you go, no updates, cannot find update in the server. But then I was going into advanced and then I was basically, uh, what was I doing? I was scanning it again and then I was forcing it through. Let me just see. Yeah, there you go. I was going to install down here. Yeah. So I was going onto here and then I was going to install. I won't do it now because what will happen is it will start going through the process and then after about 20 seconds it will come up with, you know, the command prompt or MS-DOS type stuff and it would come up with update failed and then it will shut down my PC, turn back on again and my keyboard was still faulty just like it was before. So uh, I thought, okay, that's probably because the chip's bad. So I got the working keyboard down, plugged it in. I did the same thing and it behaved the same way. And that led me to believe that maybe they've never done an update on this one, or maybe they were both up to date from when they were you know, new or previous owners might have already updated them and that's why they weren't updating. So basically, I gave up with it because I thought, well, there's nothing I can do. I've tried to update it and it wouldn't work. But luckily for me, Anonymous Repair was a, a little bit more uh, persistent than I was. And he basically said, a great job, just wondering if it's a 40 firmware off the chip, maybe somebody tried to flash it and got corrupted, try this. And this is linking to a forum where basically somebody said that they, they got an MSI keyboard and they didn't even have time to play it after packing it. Uh, they clicked on yes for a firmware update. It got stuck. They waited one hour, but nothing happened. Then they spoke to support and it said, connect the keyboard. Then you go to programs, MSI gaming center, start MSI USB FD, press the select button, choose that particular file, push the download button and that's it. And he's just linked to a little screenshot. So I thought to myself, okay, brilliant. So then I went into here and I went into C and then I went into program files and then I went into MSI and I got all excited. Now at this moment in time, gaming center was not there. It just says one dragon center. Clicked on here and there was no bin files. I went through every single one of these. And when I went into these, I went into every single folder after that and after that and after that. I spent hours on this looking for these bin files. I could not find them. So I got back to Anonymous and I said, thanks for trying to help AR. This is basically going back and forth a bit. I said, thanks for trying to help AR. Unfortunately, the MSI Gaming Center has been replaced by the MSI Dragon Center. In the Dragon Center under C programs, blah, 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 blah. I cannot find the USB download a firmware version that or any bin files. I also tried downloading the older MSI Gaming Center from a random site. And when I try to open it up, it says Gaming Center can only run on MSI products. I think I'm fighting and losing battle on this one. Again, thanks for all the help though. So basically, again, I gave up on it because I spent another couple of hours on it and I thought to myself, I'm not getting anywhere. But what I meant by downloading something else, I knew I was looking for something called Gaming Center. So forget about this one. That wasn't here at the time. That's the Gaming Center there. So I downloaded it. I found it from like an iffy site, you know, one of these ones that try to push loads of other stuff at the same time, sort of place you get viruses from. And it says Gaming Center can only run on MSI products. And I thought, okay, this must be if you have like a motherboard or something. So then I thought, is it because it's been replaced, I need to go onto something older. So I went onto Windows 8, a little tablet I've got, and I downloaded it on there, and I still couldn't find those files. So at this stage, I gave up. But then Anonymous said to me, I've mailed you a link with the file or I can send you all the files. So I checked out my emails and sure enough, 
I had a link to MSI Gaming Center. I don't know how he found this. Maybe in South Africa, because that's where he's from. Maybe this is still the current one. Because every time I did it in the UK, I kept getting pushed towards this Dragon Center thing. But anyway, it was here. And since downloading this, it took me one minute to get this keyboard fixed. All I had to do was go into File Explorer. Here, I went into Program Files. I went into MSI. Forget about One Dragon Center, I've now got Gaming Center. Clicked on that, and then this is completely different. And I went down to where it says MSI USB here. And can you see here, it detects the device you've got plugged in. Obviously, you have to plug in the keyboard for it to detect it. And then you go onto this bit here. I might as well do this now. And you download the file. So Anonymous had already told me what file to download. I don't know how he knew. Maybe if you open this up in Notepad, it tells you. But anyway, it was uh, I trust him because every time he tells me something, it turns out to be correct. So it's L2669V27.bin. That's for the European keyboard. So I clicked on that one there, and then I went to download. And watch this. Within a few seconds, it will start doing what it needs to do. All right, check it. Chip erase. You see, so it's erasing what was already on there and then it puts the firmware back onto it. Update successful, and now, watch this. I couldn't believe it. I went into Google, and I did a key checker. So let me just do a key checker. I'm using the new keyboard for this. Keyboard tester. Now check this out. Look, I was just, uh, just amazed when I did this, because I was thinking, okay, the lights have all come on, but will it actually work? And then I went like this, and every single key I did just worked, and it was just so nice. Look at that. And that N key rollover thing, this will do six keys. So watch this. If I go down here, and if I was to use four fingers here and four fingers here, and press them down, like that, can you see here it will only come up with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to do it on the row below and you can see it happen on the screen. Right, so I'm doing eight keys now and it will come up one, two, three, four, five, six. So it didn't come up with these two here. But every single key on this is working. So I'm well happy with it and also all the lights and everything work as well. Now I do have to apologize because I said, let's turn the lights off, I said that the lights would, you could see why it would appeal to children, that it's a bit gimmicky. But a valid point, if you're in a dark room and you've got a projector, then a lit up keyboard really is your only option. Also, if you have failing eyesight, then it will also help you as well because you can see the keys. And remember, if you don't like it, all you've got to do is turn it off. There. So you've got the best of every world. Now check this out. Watch this. This says MSI. Look at that. M-S-I. It's kind of hard to see. And there's loads of things you can do without even doing it via the Dragon Center. So we have the LED speed here. So let's see if I can speed that up. There you go. Now look at that whizzing across. MSI. I don't know if that's coming across in the camera. Yeah. And of course you can change the colors on that as well. There's loads of things you can do in it. So basically when you go into the Dragon Center, you have macros to change all the lights and also the keys as well. So I'm, uh, I'm well happy with it. And a massive thanks to Anonymous Repair. Check out his YouTube channel. He really doesn't post that often, but for me anyway, I always learn something from his videos. I mean, this one I was watching uh, last night and the night before, and a, a pint of beer got spilt over this amp, but it looks to me as if it's been dunked in a, a barrel of beer. I've never seen anything so bad. It it's just looks destroyed. I won't tell you the outcome of it, but it looks completely and utterly destroyed. I mean, look at that. That's not a clickbait thumbnail. That is what it was. It was, focus, it was absolutely awful. Yep. So I know a lot of you already know about him because I mentioned him before, but you know, maybe head on over there. You don't have to say that you were from, that you're from, that you came over from my mate Vince or anything. Watch a few of his videos and I'm sure you're definitely going to learn something. So massive, massive thanks to Anonymous for helping me out on this. You've done a, you've done a great job. Now, what I'm wondering is, when I first all started to do the trying to fix videos, a few people said to me I should try to do maybe a gaming setup, getting the bits bit by bit. And recently, Elliot from the Retro Future said the same thing when I said I was doing a gaming keyboard. He said, you know, maybe you should try to get a motherboard and a graphics card and stuff. What would you guys feel about that? My problem is that I'm uh, not a PC man whatsoever. I, I sort of do my bit of gaming that I do on consoles, not, uh, not PC. 
so it would be a head off a learning curve for me. I mean, I've never looked at a motherboard to try and fix. I've never looked at a graphics card to try and fix. But I wonder now, I've got a keyboard here that we fixed. This could be the start. Maybe the next thing I could buy would be a power supply. And I know they have to match up with each other. So I'd have to maybe go to some sort of PC parts checker. And I don't know how viable it is to buy 40 stuff on eBay. But if I was to get maybe a motherboard from eBay, and then if I, a 41, and then if I could try to fix it, it might be some dodgy MOSFET or something. And then I could get a graphics card. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to get a really modern one because even a 41 might cost like four or 500 quid. But maybe I could get maybe the equivalent of an 800 pound gaming PC or something like that and try to buy it all faulty and then see at the end of it, A, whether we together can all do it because I will need a lot of help. And then as well, is it actually worth it? For example, will I spend 600 pounds on something which is worth 700 pound but yet it's taken me five weeks to do? Or would there be a possibility of getting things cheap? Like for example, not this laptop, but no keyboard, but the one upstairs I got for 21 pounds. I've got to double check what I paid for this one. I think it was 30 or 40 pounds. Uh, but that's still not bad considering the price of them new, I think is about, I don't know if you can still get them new, but they were a little over a hundred pounds. So uh, yeah, if you would like to maybe see a, a series of trying to fix up a gaming PC, then let me know. Also, maybe come up with a name for me for the titles because like trying to fix a game in PC part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part 20 might not kind of do it as far as the YouTube algorithm and stuff is concerned. I don't know what I could call it. Could it be called like a gaming PC on the cheap or fixing up a gaming PC on the cheap or I don't know maybe one of you can have a uh, maybe one of you will, will come up with a good a good title pop it down in the comments below if enough people think it's a good idea I think I would be happy to do it because I mean I do enough kind of random stuff on my channel anyway so I'm often out of my comfort zone so I'd be quite happy because every little thing would be completely different trying to fix a power supply will have a, a load of different problems than trying to fix a motherboard trying to fix a graphics card I would presume uh, is going to be very very hard to do Maybe even, you've seen that I fixed RAM on uh, my friend's laptop. Imagine if I could buy some 40 RAM and try to fix it. Maybe some 40 RGB lighting or 40 fans. I don't think you'd be able to get a 40 case, even maybe a 40 monitor. Obviously, I can't get one for cracked screen, but if it was something like the backlight was gone, maybe I could try to fix the backlight circuit. Who knows? Let me know if you think it's a good idea. So that is it for this video. Massive, massive, massive thanks to Anonymous Repair. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everybody who commented. That is it for this video. Thank you so, 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 so much. Look after yourselves, everyone, and I will see you soon.